I fueled up across the road, I couldn't help but notice this. Classic car alert. Welcome everyone, Adam and the Ooh here. It's my second channel, daily vlog channel. It's the daily. Woo! Starting the day off in the little town of Neely, Nebraska. And would you take a look at this fantastic old theater. The new moon still has the template for the coming attractions, the marquee, the lights to illuminate it. And it appears as if, at one point, it became a video store. Newer generations might not know what a video drop box is or was, but I remember. Oh yeah, I remember. And notice at the pinnacle, at the very tippy top of the neon, there is a moon made out of metal. Wow, check out these beauties as well. That old laundromat sign and a refrigerator business. Fascinating relics of the past, to say the least. And this decaying wooden painting welcoming us to downtown. And depicted in that artistic rendition is this old mill. Built in 1873, it's the only one of its kind anywhere in the state that still has its original equipment. Inside this room, pancake flour was packed up into bags. Look at the wall and the old school calendars that still remain there. I can't get any closer. I'm behind a piece of glass and a locked door. The patent on this machine is 1888, long before I was even a glimmer in my parents' eyes, or they were even a glimmer in their parents' eyes. People were working right here at this station. Hear the sound of rollers. There are three flights of stairs you can climb to reach the top. Pretty incredible. And the machine downstairs that is making the roller noise, it's not stopping, it's not turning off. This is called a plan sifter. The flower would pop out of those little tubes there and this would shake back and forth, at least that's my unexpert opinion. The noise finally stopped. That was like a pretty good 10 or 15 minute audio loop. This machine was retired in 1916 after 43 years of work. And in that time period, it created 700,000 bushels of grain. And here's a display of some of the finished products that came out of this location itself. That place was impressive most impressive. There's a really interesting story that has morphed into quite the urban legend on the outskirts of town involving Michael Landon from Little House on the Prairie, Bonanza, and Highway to Heaven. In 1962, he was either visiting or doing an appearance at this fairground. And after a full day of fun, he meandered directly across the street for some humble accommodations at this little motel. And this is the room now, it's room nine, but it used to be room number 10, and they have completely remodeled it. They've patched the hole in the wall. Evidently there was a fight. He was wrestling in here, and he put the opponent's head through the wall, and there was a big hole. But it's gone now. But this is where the legend began. Whoa, look at that! That truck had a bull skull mounted on the front. I'm not sure if it was real or fake. The owner at the motel said when they remodeled, he took the chunk of the wall with the hole in it and gave it to the previous owner who wanted it as a souvenir. I'm kind of from all over. I travel around in the RV oh. and you've nicknamed your little scooter the Chariot. 
Look at that right there. Yeah, they made them a couple years in Minnesota, but they quit them four years ago. How long have you been collecting all of these? 55 years. It started in 55. Oh, 1955 is when you put your first bell out here. The one that started off the collection was his old school bell. That's the first one he put here, and now it has grown. How many do you have total? Well, I have 200 all together. 200. That bottom row used to be from Country Church. It was a Country Church every seven miles. All these here on the bottom? Yeah, the big ones. Then they didn't have to drive so far with horses riding them. And these here, Eclipse and all them, they come from the old wooden windmill years ago. From the windmills? The tail stayed out all the time, and then they had these on the, to change the cleats and the wheels so it would open and shut. And the Eclipse made that one all the time, and then 1913, they made that one over there. See, that's a dry moon, it wouldn't rain. Oh, right here? Right here. That's a, that's a dry moon facing yeah, that direction? The water won't run out of that way. Okay, so a dry moon faces that way and a wet moon faces yeah. the other way. You can hear that three miles. So if you were to ring that, your neighbors three, this one is, yeah. Yeah, three that, miles that away would hear it. Four miles. For four, so it, whatever the number on top yeah. signifies the distance. Yeah, but the different companies, see that's the 26, that's the diameter on the bottom. 26 miles, you could hear that no, bell? That's the 26, that's a different company. That, 26 inches in diameter. Okay, so sometimes it's the diameter and sometimes yeah. it's the distance. So if you were to fully ring that very hard, you would hear that for three miles. Yeah, I lived eight miles south here and I could hear these bells on a good day. I could hear you ring eight miles. Here's my smallest bell right there. Oh, you got it hanging from your finger. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah. A little teeny tiny bell. You still have that? Oh yeah. I got one half that big now. So you have big bells and small bells. They knocked it down a couple years ago. And that's where you went to high school. Yeah, yeah, out southeast of town, eight miles. Stairs are still there, but everything else is decomposed. Everything's and gone. Everything's gone. Now. Hole. They burned it and dug a hole and put it in the rest. So it sideways rolled down the hill. So that's your tractor, and you fell off the hill. Yeah, I rolled down the hill from up here. I was Did you get hurt at all, or? No, I jumped off and run, but that. Rear rig caught my pliers pocket and tore that off. Population of one. Yeah. So you just one person living there that owned the bell and you went and got the bell and put it in the back of your truck? Uh, her husband used to have, it's a filling station on the road and her husband always helped with it and he died and she cleaned up and everything. Now do you have this bell here on property? Yeah, this one here. And there it is. You can see there's a hole in the side. He said that came from someone firing a rifle into it. country school bell. That copper up there I run before, that was all farm bells years ago before there was watches. The buildings being in the middle of the, of the farm and at noon mom would ring the bell and if you go in with horses you could hear that and then they'd come home for dinner. That's a heck of a lot of cows. Just hanging out there in the field. What are you doing over here by yourself? Are you the loner? Are you a loner? You getting camera shy? Don't be, it's okay. Don't be camera shy. Come out of your shell. No, 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 come, come back. Come on. You don't want to be in the vlog? You want to be in the vlog or not? You do, don't you? You don't? You do or don't? So difficult. He's just being so difficult. What about you guys? You got any shout outs you want to give? You, you got anybody you want to say hello to? Just, just shout it out. Just say it. Nothing, huh? 
Nobody, no, nobody in mind, I guess. There's just something about cruising the back roads, wind in your hair, the breeze in your face, and that manure stick. Get the windows up. The manure stitch is very, very permeating. Well, this escalated quickly. Storm clouds rolled in pretty fast, and now it's raining. I was getting a little hungry, so I got some snacks for the road right here at a place called Pump and Pantry. And check out their mascot up there. It's a wolf with a beverage. Hey, you're daring, standing up there on top of that very high roof. This gentleman is fixing a light in the lantern there. The town of Taylor has 84 of these wooden structures painted black and white. They call them the villagers. And as interesting of an idea as this is, you kind of get a little Twilight Zone vibe. Almost like ghosts of the past have come back to haunt the community. The villagers. Around every corner, they lurk, some of them with farm animals. And some with cute little puppies. In all honesty, it is a pretty neat idea. It almost makes you think that that couple is just passing through town. That's a hard note to hit. Vlog is pretty much the only person out here. Hey, look at this. Let's try that again. I can never hit that whistling note.